you saw even in action at a district vaccine store. What were some of your observations? So it was fabulous after a lot of planning to now see that system working. Why is it important? If we don't understand where vaccines are and can't track them over time, it makes it very difficult to assure adequate supply and to deal with shortages. So seeing health workers being able to show on their smartphones real-time data and having temperature monitoring that can be monitored externally is a really powerful thing. This has a role for India, of course, in our work on coverage and equity here, but also has implications more globally if we can make the system work here, because this is a problem that most developing countries have. The, the, the important work that is being done here is that uh, people are targeting not just the easy to reach, but really trying to go out and find those that are not well served, the hard to reach communities. And that's critical because those are the people that, if they're not getting vaccinated, are also not having access to other interventions or malnourished, et cetera. So the more we reach out to these hard to reach communities and provide them with the basic preventive services, the more chance we have to improve the health of them and all Indians. You rightly mentioned that equity is the basis of this whole improving the immunization system. How do you think this partnership will effectively address this issue? Well, there's two parts to this. One is it is absolutely critical to have good data. It's not helpful in a way to know that the coverage rate in India is 83%. Um, of course, better at 83% than 70%. But that average hides the differences between states, but between perhaps genders, between different communities, hard to rich groups, urban, your rural. Having good data and good evaluation is critical then to target the groups we need. And then secondarily is having real-time data, like we talked about with the, uh, the uh, electric uh, vaccine network, is to be able to have real-time data that we can operate on. What do you see the opportunities for India for improving access to the system? Well, I think what's exciting right now is India has a big push on make in India and on digitalizing India. And these are two tools that can play an important role. Already, Indian pharmaceutical industry has really changed the vaccine market globally. For the five-in-one vaccine, we now have seven suppliers. With that, we now have excess capacity for production, and we've seen the price drops more than two-thirds, making sustainability possible. We'd like to see this across other vaccines, but not just in vaccines. If we can do the same in cold chain material, in, in digital systems, in information systems, and use them not just here to improve the management and implementation, but then use those in other countries as well, it can make a huge difference for access. Uh, and finally, what do you see, what are your aspirations for these partnerships with UNDP and how do you see that grow? Well, we appreciate uh, both the roles of UNDP as a partner and also WHO and UNICEF. All three together are working to try to assist the government of India in implementing this program. Each of the partners has taken critical components and are trying to use those to help monitor what's happening and evaluate what's happening, but also provide technical assistance to the country. And of course, given that India has the world's largest birth cohort of 27 million and has um, the largest number of under-immunized children in the world, Resolving that problem here in India not only affects India, but then is an effect on the global system as well.